is Gail Alsop. I am a clinical associate professor of primary care in the School of Medicine. So after first uh, deciding I wasn't going to apply, I eventually reread the email and decided I was fairly new into a level six post here at the university and actually was probably suffering from an element of imposter syndrome. I didn't feel that I belonged in the role that I was in. I didn't feel I was experienced enough. And so it did feel like it was an appropriate time for me to seek some mentoring and guidance. So the biggest thing that surprised me was actually how humble and how open the VC was during the whole mentoring process. Um, my previous experience of mentoring has always been someone who perhaps was the expert and sometimes perhaps told me what I should be doing. This was very different. This was someone who was open, was willing to share about their own life and their own experiences to make me feel very comfortable and very much like I belonged on the programme, which in turn means that I've got an awful lot out of it. So the biggest thing that the programme has taught me was during all of the personality assessment, the Myers-Briggs type assessments that we did. Now, I'd done these in the past, and if I'm being honest, um, had never really felt comfortable with the outcome of those assessments. This process and the assessment and the analysis of the Myers-Briggs that we did particularly has made me realise that I'm not the person I was labelled at being at all, and it really has allowed me to reconnect with myself, which has made me a better leader, a better team player, and certainly a better clinician and friend to those around me. So if you're thinking of applying and you haven't yet made your mind up, I would say go for it because I was in a position where I was new to a post. I'd only been at the university in a level six post for about six months and I'm part time and a clinician. And the amount that I have got out of this, not only from a leadership within the university perspective, but it's also propelled me to a national leadership role from a primary care perspective with the Royal College of GPs. And I would never have done that without this mentoring programme.